Welcome back, minions, to Balloon Tower Defense 6 with the bonus levels. There'd be more bonus levels every time they come up with new things. And last time we um, beated um, this one in hard mode. So now we're gonna do a doors, a doors temple, which I haven't unlocked a door because way too much money at the moment. So sorry about that. But the reason why I'm continuing this on the title screen is because. A nice animation happens when you when you enter this level so let's let's enter it I know I said I was gonna do hard but uh, hard gets stressful after a while I'll do it once in a while so let's do medium this time around look at this animation look at that nice water physics so this looks a little crazy it seems like they go around maybe once and then I kind of want to see how the balloons go so let's um just play it out so I get to I get to learn so they go around they go around like three times and then they go up and then and then they leave okay let's do the try that again we get to see the nice animation again. That's pretty cool. And I don't know why there's a gingerbread man stuck in the water. But there is. Oh, so there's like high ground. I wanted to use Striker Jones because I thought this would be a pretty good level for him. But I may be wrong. So let's do something like that. <laughs> this thing can't reach it. Striker Jones doing fine. Okay, switches it switches um instead of coming out horizontally, it comes out vertically this time. Okay. A little bit of change is okay. Just gotta worry about it when they come up to the center. Cause that's when they um that's when it's the worst. Just need some more range on this monkey, and then I'll upgrade it a little bit more. I think I may put some sniper monkeys on the top. That seems kind of fun. But I know this guy does better with, like, explosions, so... Maybe it's not the best idea. Just getting some money. I need some money. Come on. Give me money. Okay, so we have some really good range on this monkey now. And let's get it some faster speed. This is actually be a good submarine level, but I'll try not to use use the submarine unless if I go crazy so because we all know how overpowered the submarine is ninja kiwi please not nerf it because it's like a good tower and I just like really need it to be a good tower thank you okay we need a sniper monkey over here Put a sniper. And this guy's gonna be strong, I guess. We're gonna. Um, I have an idea. I'm not gonna get the camo detection right now. I think I'm just gonna go for a 101. Because I, I have an idea. Imagine this tower sinks like halfway through. I'll be so mad. I hope it doesn't sink. If this tower sinks, oh my goodness. Oh, 
Maybe I'll put a one zero two. That could be a lot better. See, I I, I miss having um Benjamin because he just makes so much money for us. I don't have to worry about anything. How much is a um a money? Kind of stole a lot, to be honest. Oh, this would be a perfect level for this guy, actually. I always forget about the engineer. It's okay. I want to get a um, monkey village real quick, and then and then I'll ch tell you the plan once I buy the monkey village. That's if you guys don't already know. Let's put it close to, um, put it as close as we possibly can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get camo on this thing and then I'm going to get, I'm going to get probably a large caliber with like maybe full auto rifle or something. This way it does, it destroys a zebra balloon for every pop, which is pretty crazy if you, if you think about it. And it can also destroy lead balloons, I think, with it too. Just gotta make sure that at least some, um, yeah. So this way he gets the camo detection too, which will be come in handy, that's for sure. The only one with camo detection is our dot monkey at the moment. We don't have a lot of towers though, that's making me a little worried. Oh, those pink balloons are. Swirling past all of our people. Careful balloons, you're gonna get popped. Okay, got the camo. Now we can upgrade our sniper monkey as much as we want. Too bad I don't think an engineer is gonna be in range of the camo detection. Well, that's okay. We already have plenty of camo detection as there is. Unless we put the engineer over here, that could be a better idea. So now every shot it hits a um a zebra balloon or a lead balloon, I think. And then this time it would shoot three times as fast, so it would just keep hurting things. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put an engineer here, and then I'm gonna put another sniper here. But this sniper will be just to hit other things, and I may put this guy on first. And I think that would be really good. Not really utilizing Striker Jones passive, but that's okay. Utilizing, utilizing. He's really good at hitting these things though. Black balloons are his weakness though. There we go, look at this. The balloons can't, the balloons can't spawn fast enough. Okay, so let's put this guy like a little bit down here to like add a little bit of range. Get some turrets going. Shooting through the wall, good job turret. And we're going to have a... What is it? Another sniper on this side. This guy's gonna be strong, this guy's gonna be put to first. Not last, first. This one will take care of the Moabs that come by. Well, we actually destroyed that that Moab pretty pretty fast. Look at it go! Boom 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 boom. 
I'm still wor worried that this is going to um, sink at one point in time. There you go. <sighs> okay, deadly position. Goodbye, ceramic balloons. Got that really quickly, too. We can upgrade our um, dart monkey also to sharpshooter. It'll help us out. You know what? When I if I ever lock a, a door or whatever her name is, I'm gonna play her this map in hard mode for her and see how it goes. But that's even if I do, and that may take a while though. We gotta have at least our ice monkey, so let's just put an ice monkey there because why not? It's gonna pop zero balloons at the moment. I think we're pretty much all set, to be honest. We could get a, um... Alchemist, that will help us out. I always like putting these guys on last. Oh yeah, look at this, he's going so fast. Put the brew on him. Look at that. That's really good, I and mean, we, can, we can get another one on the other one, too. I just gotta find him. How many balloons has this pop? 139, not bad. Good job, Ice Tower. Yeah, these alchemists are doing a good amount of work. I, I think we're all set. I feel like we I don't have to do anything. I feel like this is a good good enough thing. Striker Jones is now level 10, so he has this really massive, I don't know what to call this, artillery gun? I mean, it says artillery command. Oh yeah, we can upgrade our um, engineer to help us out. Um, faster firing. Look at it go. And remember, each shot def destroys a zebra balloon in one shot. Also, lead balloons. So it like it it racks up damage pretty quickly, especially if it's hitting a Moab. Because a Moab is only like four times the health of a, a ceramic, I think. Plus, it carries four ceramic, so it's technically about more than eight ceramics. I think. I could be wrong on that. And a ceramic, I think, is made out of a rainbow balloon, but a rainbow balloon has two of these zebra balloons in it, but I'm not too sure. Maybe it has four. But even if it has four, that means it only has to shoot a ceramic four times to do the to the damage. Which I feel like that's, like, amazing. Maybe Moab. I don't think I'm gonna get this. Well, it doesn't even matter, because... It's one of those, like, bad ones that you have to lose a life to, to activate it. Jeez. Uh, sniper monkeys in Balloon Time Defense 5, I never really cared for them, but I fell in love with them eventually. Because they're just, like, an interesting tower. Well, minions, I'll see you on the next bonus level. Or the next video. Goodbye.